सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट द यू एच वी थ्री इन यू एच वी थ्री वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट लेक्चर सेवन राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड वॉट दैट मीन्स एंड सो वी स्पोक अबाउट using our higher faculties using the higher activities within the self to understand all of the existence the nature the four orders in the nature to be able to see the role of these four orders in this coexistence and to be able to understand our role in this whole picture so the chart that you see before you we've been discussing that for the last two days and this is what we said we would reflect on for from yesterday to today and try to see that what we had discussed about regarding the activity the innateness the natural characteristic the submergence of every unit how it plays about how it comes about what is its um what are the details of it and how when we see through only the lower activities we see only one small portion of it but it is only when we try to use our higher faculties try to use our higher activities within us that we are able to see more and more detail and understand this whole definiteness the universality the continuity that is there at the base of this existence which looks like it is very varied and changing so if you could reflect on this and uh, discuss some of your observations that would be nice or if you have any questions regarding what we discussed so far in this uh, lecture you can raise your hand and we will discuss नमस्ते सभी को दीदी आई कुड रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन दिस बट आई नो आई हैड ए लिटिल कंफ्यूजन अबाउट दिस इनेटनेस वेन आई टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ ह्यूमन बींग वॉट इज माई इनेटनेस रेस्ट अदर थिंग्स आई कुड अंडरस्टैंड बट इनेटनेस आई वॉज लिटिल कंफ्यूज ये स्टडे वॉट इज पार्ट ऑफ मी वॉट इज इनेट टू मी इज i want to live and i don't just want to live i want to live with happiness that too i don't just want to live with happiness sometimes i want to do that all the time isn't it can you see that that is true for every human being every self so how is it different from the quality like the qualities that i have they are different from sorry what do you mean by quality uh, quality is like <clears throat> the that i have feelings you know, human beings do have qualities yeah like, uh, so i would say another part of your self organization is that whenever you have a feeling that is in line with your natural acceptance you feel happy 
and whenever you have a feeling that is not in line with your natural acceptance you feel unhappy this is also part of our self organization it is innate to us we can't change that okay 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 can you see that yes yes actually i confused innateness with the natural characteristics aha uh-huh. so, natural characteristic has to do with our participation okay so if i can see this for myself i will be able to see it for others also so i will see the similarity between myself and the others just like how how i have natural acceptance they also have just like i want to live with happiness they also do just like i don't want to make the other unhappy they also don't want to make the other unhappy so their intention is similar to mine all this i'll be able to see so it starts with understanding myself and then my participation becomes easy because now i can see that for the other also it is like this so i know what i need to do na so i will have trust on intention i will see the other as similar to me i will see my relationship with the other then i will have these feelings of compassion no yes. trust respect all of this and when we talk about existence uh, so existence how is it not there in humans what do you mean like it's mentioned in the physical order na no? that the innateness of physical order is innateness the innateness ah, is so, existence yes so for the physical order they just exist isn't it for the bio order they don't just exist they also grow we can see okay. that so It existence is, is there for humans also in the human being there is not just the body there is the self okay so in the body you will see that the body exists and there is um you know uh, there is growth in the body right but okay. when we say will to live that is not in the body no that is in the self so that part is in the self this will to live with continuous happiness that part is in the self and the potential to have it accomplished is also in the self with the right understanding and the right feeling and right thought so this ability to understand all of this not just myself but other human beings and also rest of nature all that ability is within me so when i understand all of existence then i also see you know not just what i can see through the gross eyes but much beyond that so i see all these characteristics in all the units in myself also myself as a human being i see that there is the body and there is the self and when it comes to the body it is similar to the plant body isn't it okay. the animal body and the human body are similar to the plant body so not just existence but growth growth also yeah 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 we can see no for us yes, also yes 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 didi yes yes thank you thank you didi as uh, we discussed ma'am that uh, every unit is related with other unit mm-hmm. and uh, self is also related with another self mm-hmm. and when there is a relation we have learned those nine feelings as well Mm-hmm. so does that nine feelings uh, any of the nine feelings exist uh, when every unit is related with another unit or that nine feeling is related uh, is with only self with self <laughs> yeah so see the feeling is in the self right yes the feeling is in the self so now when i see as a human being when i interact with other units when i understand other units when i understand the existence the way it is the orders 
and all of the pattern that is already there in existence. Now I have the right feeling towards each and every unit. Remember, we talk about the feeling of love in the first workshop, the second workshop. Yes, complete. Yeah. yeah. So there, what is it? You are having the feeling of being related to all, to all units. That feeling is in the self of the human being. But it can be not just for human beings. It can be seeing my relatedness with animals, with plants, with the soil, with everything. The expression of that feeling for different orders will be different, isn't it? For okay. another human being, I may express it in a different way. For when I see my relatedness with a plant, my expression of seeing my relatedness with the plant may be different. I may want to try to ensure that you know I give it manure and I make sure it is in a place where there is sunlight and so on I give it water so many things isn't it yes yes, yes. yes. so the so, feeling is in the self but it can be for all units yes right uh, so as long as self exists in any of these uh, four orders I mean, as long as this, in, in these four orders, wherever the self exists, feeling also exists. It may be related. Uh, animal will also have that. Yeah, in the case of the animal, the self is little less evolved as compared to the human being. Can you see that? Now, what we yes. said was in the animal self, where is the self in the other four orders? What we are saying is, the self is there in the animal and in the human, isn't it? So in the self of the animal, yes, there is a will to live in I. But if you see the activities within I, the self, the lower activities are most prominent, this selecting, tasting part. That is most prominent. So the animal is largely concerned with the food. And when they get the food, they are comfortable. They are not planning for future, for, you know, collecting for generation, next generation. All those things, what we do as human beings are... Um, Imagination is much more, um, has more depth to it, isn't it? Yes, so, ma'am. But the uh, thing is, as the self evolves, this rudimentary um, enhancement of the self, this rudimentary evolved evolution of the self will slowly happen, and then ultimately, that self will. Um, feel the need to associate with the human body and then will associate with the human body and then that potential to know and all of that is there. But in the animal self, that much potential is not there. Okay, it's not so developed. But they may have the feeling of trust or maybe not so developed The nine among the nine feelings. For example, a dog or... Yeah, see, let us first see those feelings in ourselves. Ah, so sorry, let's oh, see those feelings. Then oh, we can oh. see also what is there in the dog, what is there in the cat, and all those things. All right, ma'am. What uh, you notice in animals, no? Largely, when they are living close to human beings, they reciprocate. Remember, we say that every unit reflects onto an every, every other unit through space. Yes. yes, yes, we discussed that. So now when the dog or cat or whatever animal is living in an environment where there are the human beings, then how the human being relates to the animal, that reflection comes onto the animal also. So the animal may not necessarily 
um, have that kind of a feeling as such. But in this process of evolution, slowly the self is evolving. So slowly things will develop yes. until there is need, you know, to associate with a higher something which has a higher probability, higher potential. So then the self of the animal will associate with the human being at some point. Okay, ma'am, understood. Uh, but th there is possibility that then uh, self is uh, may have feeling with self because self is related with self. So myself will have the myself must, will be related with myself and so feeling with myself is it possible with single self what does that mean feeling for myself yes yeah hmm. see a lot of times you feel something you did wrong or you didn't do according to your natural acceptance you don't feel good uh -huh. right right you feel guilty, you feel bad. Now this is like having a feeling not naturally acceptable for yourself. Isn't it? Right, right. Yes. So having the right feeling within, I would see it as, you know, being able to rightly evaluate myself. To be able to see not just what I am able not to do, but also what I am able to do. And to try to um, have those feelings which are naturally acceptable to me. Because that is what leads to happiness. That is what is associated with my happiness. And at the same time, Try to understand because I do want to know also, isn't it? Every human being wants to know and has the potential to know. So I will make effort to understand every other unit and see my relationship with every other unit and my participation and participate. And all of this is in line with my natural acceptance and this is what makes me happy. Gina, yes, yes. Thank you, ma'am. I understood. Thank you. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste to all. Uh, ma'am, while looking at the uh, four orders, among that four order, human being, uh, if we look at that uh, physical feature like a body, uh, a, 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 except that uh, human order, uh, we can see in all the three order the physical features are same like a uh, in like uh, in the first order uh, soil metal whatever we can see the similarities and uh, like in the plants also for example rose plants if i uh, put all the rose plants uh, we can see that all are looking same but uh, amazing things in case of human being uh, even we have that uh, similar features, all that human being have a two eye, two legs, um, but uh, all indi individuals are different. Uh, that is the one amazing uh, I thing I uh, observe uh, in that uh, human being heart. And uh, if you uh, see, the, even in the other orders, you will find, like you mentioned, roles. Uh -huh. Now they are of different different kinds of roses, no? different colors. The form can be a little bit changed. If you look at fruit, you have trees that are, you know, a variety of types of trees with mm -hmm. different kinds of fruit. If you look at the mm -hmm. leaves of any tree, you will find so many different types of leaves. So like that, you will see that variety is there in the form in all the units. In, I mean, in all the orders, you can see this. Okay? Yeah. And that is changing. This you keep seeing as it changes. So the leaves, when they are new, they look a certain way. 
mm-hmm. then when they you know when it is there for some time it looks a different way then in when the season changes it looks a different way so in the same plant also you might feel find leaves you know the form may change little bit isn't it it rains yeah there is moisture on the leaves it looks a different mm. way the form green in some yeah. way yeah mm-hmm. so like that you will see that in mm. all the units in fact this form part mm. will not mm. be constant it will be changing mm-hmm. and there will be a lot of variety and same is true for the human body if you are looking at the body when it comes to the self also mm. some parts are similar some parts are different changing so if you look at our imagination desire mm-hmm. thought expectation mm-hmm. you will see a lot of variety no mm-hmm. yeah. i may be thinking something else you are thinking something else third person is thinking something else lot of variety i may have a different desire you may have a different desire at the root we want to be happy but what we consider mm. as happiness mm. what is in our imagination that can be different for different people but at the same time there is a part of us which is unchanging which is definite which is continuous that you can get a glimpse of when you refer to your natural acceptance that's why the natural acceptance is the same for all on yeah. you yeah yeah thank you thank you suppose if we take a plant which is alive and a plant which is dead so is it not the self that is the, that is not there uh, only based on assumption only we can see that the self is not there in the plant not on assumption remember we talked about how you can detect a self or how will you say that a self is there what will be something that you may notice hmm, madam now what you are describing is something between a dead and alive an alive plant yes madam uh, if the plant is growing ha oh, madam it is a plant yes madam isn't it when you cut it is it a plant anymore no 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 it it becomes a non living thing non living non living bolu or whatever uh, yeah, yeah yeah it's yeah. not growing it's not growing yeah but it exists yeah just like human body ha huh. yes madam so now it is part of the physical order yeah yeah it's not part of the bio order at all yes madam but this has, doesn't have anything to do with the self yeah really so when it when the plant has died or you have uprooted the plant cut the plant ah oh, madam now it is part of the physical order yeah yeah but i suppose your question is that you know in the plant is their self that we discussed yesterday mm yesterday you were telling only that reason what reason uh it has uh, only it, it it is unable to assume the uh... ha huh. yeah, because yeah. its recognition and fulfillment is definite it doesn't have choice in the matter mm-hmm. isn't it so we can say the self may be much uh, means what less than the animal it is the evolving of self is uh, much less than animal so okay. how do you say that there is a self for the self to function it oh. requires it requires some something in the body of the hmm, that uh, what i observed uh, that is the one moment, one moment you require the brain okay for the self to communicate with the body there is requirement of a brain in the body okay brain so for that to happen now you can see you know in the structure of the plant 
madam you don't find any such thing hmm. and in the behavior also you don't find the role of assumption but hmm. i would keep it open again yeah, we have yeah 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 madam yeah, yeah we already discussed this at length yesterday yeah 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 because some yeah, people yes we can just keep it open yeah 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 that's what yeah I, yeah. Actually, there is a reason why I have not asked uh, till now. <laughs> but today, uh, uh, I am tempted myself to ask that. <laughs> so, okay, uh, thank you, madam. Uh, because uh, we have to focus on yeah, yeah, awakening to our higher activities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naturally, for ourselves. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is another reason, madam, why I have not asked. Why? Because our main goal is uh, not this actually. Whether it is uh, it has helped or not, that is a matter. But the thing is that how our higher uh, features are being elevated, uh, and uh, that is our goal. Yeah, that's why I have not asked till now. Thank you, madam. <laughs> but it is important to understand. You see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, if there is a self, then there is a will to live. Then, am I? What is my role? With that mm, self, mm, so, mm, yes, so I want to ensure that I am not hampering the will to live. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so on. And my single question is, madam, actually, what is th that which is uh, 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 there when it is alive? What is that which is not there when it is dead in plant? That is self only. Na? I thought like that. I asked. <laughs> see <laughs> that is in that okay. way I, I was tempted Again, to ask in the you. rock now you see in the rock you don't see activity but yeah. activity is there no inside molecules oh. are there atoms are there they are moving yeah 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 Isn't so oh, yeah you're yeah. not seeing that so now will you call it dead and alive and yeah all yeah that? yeah so in that case actually i know another answer but which is not related to our discussion that's why i have not asked why because uh, Chaitanya is there in all living and non-living things, uh, generally people say. Mm -hmm. Just know what you have told. But uh, in our discussion, we have to obey whatever you say because you are a uh, guru too. You don't yeah, have yeah, to yeah. obey anything that anybody is saying. Yeah, you, uh, you have guided us also to take as uh, uh, an, uh, what can I say, Indicate proposal only. Proposal, yeah, yeah. Explore it. Yeah. When we study the existence, we will see that space is also there in all. Yeah, yeah. Them. Yeah, madam. No? Yeah, yeah. So something is energizing these plants, this everything, even mm -hmm. human, the self. No? Yeah, yeah, madam. Even yes. the body is organized. Yeah, yeah. No, even the body has so many things going on. Yeah, yeah. So um, what we'll find is that it's not just the unit yeah there is yeah space also definitely definitely madam isn't it yeah yeah so we say that it was with space being the foundation all these units have all this you know the, the the activity is there yeah yeah it? it's definitely. just different forms of activity oh yes madam so even in the physical form there is activity, but we don't see change. Ah, yes, but madam. There also you will see change when there is weathering. Say rocks, when they weather over time. No? Mm -hmm. There is effect of water on the rocks. The rock becomes rounded. You don't see it at that instant, but it is a slow process, but it happens. Mm -hmm. So change happens there also. Activity yeah. is going on there also. There is mm -hmm. formation, deformation, composition, decomposition. Just that I may not be able to see it. Yeah, yeah, madam. With my gross eyes. For the plant, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? But there is some reason for the existence of non-living thing also. Yes, I can. But I cannot see uh, by any such changes as in uh, plants and uh, animals. Yeah, yeah, naturally. Uh, thanks a lot, madam. Thank you. Thank you. So, what is my participation in this entire nature? So, I should try to understand this harmony that is there in nature. It's already there. I don't have to create a harmony there. 
I just have to understand this harmony and to live according to it. So how would I live according to it? At least I must facilitate a conducive environment for all these orders. Conducive environment for what? For the activity so that I don't hamper its activity. So for instance, for the physical order, I ensure a conducive environment and I maintain an environment such that it can exist in its own constitution. For instance, if you look at the earth, now people are doing a lot of mining and so much is being extracted from the earth. Because if we now if we don't understand that this is also significant, then we will keep doing it and thinking there is enough. What is the problem? But when the earth's constitution is changed like this, it changes many things. So the earth, the core, all of it is maintaining some sort of temperature. But when we tamper with this, it can tamper with the temperature. It can tamper with so many things. So we must understand, at least we must try to facilitate the existence of the physical order by ensuring its constitution. So you must facilitate the activity, must facilitate the innateness and the inheritance of all the orders. So in the physical order, it is this. In the bio order, you can see that it, what is innate to it is growth. So facilitate its growth. So that, what will you do to facilitate the growth? You can give water to the plant. You can make sure that it is in sunlight. If you keep the plant indoors, there is no sunlight. If you forget to water it, it will not grow properly. So at least I can do this much. No? And I can ensure its seed. Because if I ensure the seed, if I protect and ensure the seed, then this seed can lead to the growth of plants generation after generation. So it will continue. So this I can do. This is my role. I can facilitate this. At least I should not tamper with it like we have done with the seed of rice, like we were talking of papayas yesterday, and so on. So many fruits, so many vegetables, that so many grains that we may have changed, tampered with, without understanding things properly. In the animal order, what do we need to facilitate? Now here there is body and there is self. So in the body, I can facilitate the care of the body. How do I facilitate the care of the body? It may not be my pet, but still, you know, the environment, at least, you know, like forests are the environment that is required for tigers. Now, if we don't just cut down the forest mindlessly, if we ensure the environment for the forest, of the forest for these animals, then the animals will be able to be there. So the body will be um, sort of I would be helping to facilitate the body. At least I will not interfere with it. If we leave it alone also, the forest, you will find that there is, there are enough wild animals, variety will be there. But it is when we don't understand things, you will find it is human beings that interfere, poaching, this, that, which is leading to endangering of these species. So, at least we can facilitate 
if not facilitate, at least we should not exploit what is there. So the care of the body. Then when it comes to the self, ensure the will to live for the self. So not just kill the animal or whatever I feel you know, for my purposes. Because every animal also has a will to live. And to maintain the breed, to ensure the breed. So yesterday we spoke of you know, the desi cow, that breed of cow. It has certain qualities. The milk it provides is very beneficial for the human body as also for the calves and all of that. But now when you have, you don't have a pure breed, you have some hybrid, you know, some breed which is not that pure breed like the pure desi cow or the pure Swiss cow or something like that. Now instead, if you have, say, the, for example, there are many of these examples. One is the Jersey cow. So this is not a pure breed of cow. Now the milk that you get from it is not so useful, not so good for the human body. So like that, you will see that, you know, in some ways, in a lot of ways, we are causing harm to ourselves when we are tampering with other orders. So what is my participation? That should be clear. And when it comes to the human order, I can facilitate the care of the body. For that, whatever physical facility, environment for existence and growth of the body. And when it comes to the self, if I understand that the self of every human being has a will to live with continuous happiness. And I understand that this can be achieved through right understanding and right feeling. Then I will ensure human education and sanskar. So I will participate in that so that this can happen, so that I can facilitate the selves of other human beings also. So this would be my participation for mutual fulfillment. Isn't it? Next slide, please. So when we say preservation, we say preserve the nature. What does that mean? So for preservation of nature, it involves enriching the nature, protecting the nature, and rightly utilizing the nature. That way, when we, you know, interact with nature, work with nature, we can be prosperous, we can fulfill our needs, but at the same time, we are preserving nature also. And if you look at these terms, you know, when we say preservation, we said enrichment, protecting, and rightly utilizing. So what are we protecting? We are protecting the innateness. So if the plant, it is innate for the plant to grow, we are helping it, or at least ensuring that we are not tampering with the growth. Protecting and enriching its inheritance, so that we just spoke of, whether it be the breed of the animal, whether it be the seed of the plant, whatever it is, at least we don't tamper with it. We try to protect it, ensure it for generations to come, but at least we don't tamper with it. And make right utilization of, line, uh, of nature in line with its activity. So, what do we mean by that? 
so you know this plant it has you know it grows it has um um it is growing it has all these activities happening within it some composition decomposition things are going on now if i you know can see if i can understand what is right utilization then i will take only what i need and i will try to preserve the rest of it so that it can continue yeah. instead of breaking fruit when it is raw because i want to sell it in the market because i will get a good rate for it or whatever it is try to artificially ripen it all those things i won't do i will let it ripen on the tree when it is ripe i will pluck it for my consumption but not like a you know if i understand things how it is then i will replenish the nature also i will not keep trying to just take and take because i can see my role i can see my participation enrichment protection and right utilization all three are important at least i should not violate this if i can't you know help in this next slide so my participation you can see in the physical order soil water air whatever all of it to protect its innateness its existence for example we talked of this constitution of the earth in the bio order protect and nurture its innateness that is its existence and growth so you may put manure you may put water you may put a plant for getting sunlight and so on facilitate the growth ensure its inheritance by maintaining the seed that also we spoke of in the animal order when it comes to animals and birds protect the innateness that is the will to live so at least participate in that provision of a good forest cover so that there is food there is shelter for the birds for the animals and ensure the inheritance so like we spoke of the breed of the cow and so on in the human order with other human beings we said that it is innate and we can see this that we all have a will to live with continuous happiness so we can try to provide some sort of system to facilitate this so that there can be an environment where this can flourish that everybody has an opportunity they all have a will to live with continuous happiness but that everybody has an opportunity for this every child has an opportunity and ensure the inheritance that means its continuity generation after generation how would you do that it is through education and sanskar so to ensure human education and sanskar and so you can see now that this effort that is happening with the you know the uhb workshops where it is stemming from what is the vision behind it and how we can all participate in it and help in this process yeah so now we'll take some questions the when the uh, the plant is able to uh, move towards sunlight and uh, can it be uh, taken as its decision something like that <laughs> uh, so we said that there is recognition and fulfillment uh, yeah no? it is recognition and fulfillment mm. the plant always moves towards sunlight 
Mm-hmm. No? So if it is deciding to do something, then it may today it might decide to look the other way, but it doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. You see, it yeah. is very definite. So they don't have mm-hmm. choice in this matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is always so. Where the self is involved, there you decide, you choose. Today it will be one way. Tomorrow it could be another way. Third day it may be a different way. Yes, so many things. Na? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to recognition and fulfillment, it is very definite. Yes, yes. So that is one way in which you can see. Mm-hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Namaste, Devi. Namaste. Uh, Didi, after this discussion, I am slowly able to see uh, the uh, relationship in these four orders. I'm, I'm just, mm-hmm. Because I never used to even think about uh, physical order. But I know that there are trees, but this relationship uh, angle, I never thought. But slowly, after listening to the uh, discussions and thinking, so uh, to, to the plant and and the biota, they're all actually basically uh, supporting uh, humans, supporting the, uh, so therefore it's our responsibility to also, as you see, you have to protect them. So all of that also, it's our responsibility because they are basically supporting us. By yeah, food. what we keep saying, you know, that every other order is facilitating for us. Correct, yes. But what are we doing? Because we don't understand and we are supposedly, you know, more evolved Mm -hmm. or whatever, that we are able to have this choice. We are able to choose what we do. But if we understand things properly, we have the potential to understand all of this, the way it is, to be able to know how things are and to go according to it. But when we don't understand, we do all kinds of things which are not in line with how things are in the existence with the other three orders. So it is the human being that has to come in line. Yes, sir. So we need to understand this. That is why it is so important. Yes, sir. And of course, like you said, you know, our own existence will be, you know, um, in, in, you know, not uh, ensured if we are tampering with all of this. Didi, one yes. small question. Uh, the seeds have been uh, manipulated uh, by people for uh, vested interest. But is there any one example where people have genuinely, because these are all helping us, has anybody with a good intent, because there's so much population, so much food is required, so many, has and one person also thought that uh, maybe everybody will need so let me re-engineer like that nobody thinks no let me uh, let me make the seed more potent so that more people will get food as a nahi sochte hai, na? people don't think like this no? you don't have to make the seed more potent because See, that also we must understand right mm-hmm. now today there is enough food being produced globally that nobody they, should be hungry. That means they give, they tell wrong things so that there is no food, there is poverty, there is, there is no... no. Hmm? It is true that people are dying of hunger still. But why is it? It's not, not the because there is not enough food. Hmm. It's because that food is not reaching the right place. Yes. No? Yeah. People who don't need it are overeating and having falling sick and even dying because of overeating in some ways, with obesity and diseases related to that. And there are others who need it, but they are not getting even one meal a day. Mm -hmm. So why is that? If we see, it's not a problem of production. Because Mm -hmm. remember, we spoke about it, that we are producing six times what is actually required by the people on this earth. So, but we have some you know, uh, when we don't understand things, yes. Like for instance, we are growing livestock for consumption by human beings. Hmm. So first of all, you are violating the will of the animal to live hmm. by consuming the animal. Hmm. 
secondly you are using so much of your resource to mm. feed these animals mm. so that they can be consumed by human beings for every half kg of meat or something like that you need so much water so much of grain you know yeah. all of that can feed n number of people but we don't mm. see all that so much so much of the resources are being consumed for providing to this livestock so that it can be consumed by human being destruction of that hungry. land with all of that resource you could have fed so many people yeah. many more so destruction has happened already what is it the, the thought process is already gone he is right that's why that's what so we must understand this mm. and then try to live according to it yes there is slowly i am able to connect this thing otherwise uh, there was no idea at all about uh, connection between this i was only worried about uh, friends enemies fighting people i <laughs> never thought about all these things so slowly this is getting registered yeah as our vision expands then we can see more and more of this then we can see our relatedness after all the plants the trees they are providing the oxygen for us so the relationship is there anyway we are consuming that but when we don't see the relationship it looks like oh that is just something that is there it looks nice in the garden and all yes. of that but we don't think beyond that even when it comes to see pet animals we have so much we care so much about our pets but then when we eat non vegetarian food we don't think about it that that is also an animal isn't it yes so i mean we see our relatedness only in a very narrow range mm-hmm. beyond that we think this is not related to me but we have to see that the relationship is there it's already there we may not be able to see it right now but it we can mutually fulfilling yes. Mutually. yes yes and if we take what we need and try mm-hmm. to replenish mm-hmm. you know, then yes. it doesn't um we don't imbalance is not even if we can't facilitate the others orders at least we don't violate violate yeah thank you dear thank you morning madam morning yeah uh, i was just uh, listening to the previous discussion regarding the will of the animal violation of that what about the will of the plant that's what so when you say that there is no you know the self is there the will is where the will is in the self the self chooses decides you know has a will to live this is what we were yeah, talking about yeah so no we plant, we were talking about the livestock and then the livestock we are i mean uh, harming them or maybe for our own body requirements we are uh, consuming and then we are killing them that is against the will of the animal but what about the will of the plant the plant is also a living being this is what we are saying we've been having this discussion from yesterday about there being you know that the in the plant there is no self there is it has recognition and fulfillment but it doesn't have choice things are very definite there is no you know assumption that what you find as an evidence of the self that choice is not there in the plant okay yeah so the plant we won't say that it has a will to live growth is innate to it yes at yes. the same time at the same time having said that i would still ensure its growth facilitate its growth and i would take only what i need so i wouldn't just cut down trees cut down forests 
I would take only the fruit that I need to consume, okay. not okay. for my greed and all. No? Yeah. That is yeah. That is one thing. One second thing I wanted to just I mean point out. I mean we are uh, you were mentioning that we are having food excess food leading to all these things. But as a common man, what can we do? Our system is like that. The distribution is not proper where the food is not reaching people. True. True. That's so why. How, how, so how can how can people like us be in the system? I mean, I can always maybe reduce my consumption. I can always give my whatever is excess to some orphanage or some place like that. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot uh, um, change the whole system. What is existing in this country? Absolutely, you're right about that. Sometimes we think that we are not able to do much, but I think if I am. I'm just trying to recall, there was some young person in Delhi somewhere who must have had this kind of thought that so much food is going waste in so many places and then there are others who are not getting enough. So he, with his own resources, what he tried to do was he got together perhaps with a couple of other people and they tied up with places like hotels and places where they make a lot of food and they, you know, they cater for some occasion. After the occasion is done, a lot of food may be left and they don't know what to do with that. So they throw it. So instead of throwing, he, he tied up with many of such restaurants and places where they have excess food that they don't need. And they provided it to him. And then he, through others, you know, there were so many areas where people didn't have any food. He supplied it to them. Now, okay. this was his thought process and something very useful. So basically what we are saying is food is there, but we are not able to distribute it to the right place. Mm -hmm. So slowly as our vision grows, we can expand this also. And what we are doing, you know, this work that everybody is doing here in volunteering with these workshops and all, this is an endeavor to, you know, enhance the number of people, increase the number of people who may have this understanding. So as the understanding grows in people, the systems also will slowly change. No? Yeah, it will change. But uh, my general feeling is, see, let us uh, consider at least the people who are now listening to this. I don't think anybody is against what we are talking and all those true, things. True. I mean, whenever there is an opportunity available, people try to feed others and provide. But the system prevailing in our place, say for example, in the Corona period, no, we I had understand tried. understand what you're saying. Yeah. I'm sorry, but we are also out of time. I understand what you're saying, but see, whatever I can do from where I am, at least I will start with that. Yes, yes, yes. That that can be done. That can be done. Regardless so of the do, consequences. Yeah. We can do, we can provide the physical facility, but if we provide the understanding, that will go a long way. Right, right, right. So yeah. we can, that's what we are trying to do also. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll stop here. Homework is there on the, on your screen. We'll, uh, I'll put it on the group also and we'll discuss it tomorrow.